Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for February 4th, 5th, and 6th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, you know that I'm going to be using my Bradley Valentine Angel Tarot cards for the main reading. And remember, this is not the main reading. This is the introduction. I will tag this in front of all the main readings. I will also put a timestamp so you can bypass the introduction. And when you go down there and you see the February 4th, 5th, 6th, and you see your sign before it, you will know that is your sign. Okay? okay. This is the introduction. I put it on all of the videos. Okay, anyway. Bradley Valentine, Angel Tarot Cards. I am going to use my John Holland's Psychic Tarot and Oracle Cards. I'll pull one. I will pull my Emily Anderson Crystal Deck for um, any what crystal and energy you may want to, you know, you may need for this time. Now, in the introduction, I am going to use today the Archangel Power Tarot Cards, Bradley Valentine, and I'll pull one from the Guardian Angels, um, again, Bradley Valentine. Now, I have prayed meditated. I have infused all the decks with with Reiki energy because I am a Reiki 3 master teacher. So I have infused them all with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power and whatever higher power wants to give me, try to just give it to you without any um without any of my own ways getting into into it of course that's always there's a little bit of a problem but you know we just want to you know i just want to give a pure message and we will see what we will see now on the third um mercury went direct there is still a little bit of a shadow so there is some karmic resolution still happening i always feel with mercury retro and then the shadow periods which is usually two weeks before two weeks later um, well, it is. It's not or. Uh, there's always a karmic challenge, a karmic um, placement, something that is something that is meant to happen. It's a, a karmic rightening of the energies. Okay. So now all the but but at the same time, even though we've got that for the next two weeks, um, things still falling into place karmically, universally. Um, you know, there's also. All of the planets are now direct, and I think they're direct until the mid to latter part of April. So most of February, all of March, and a good portion of April, these planets will be direct. And also, too, if you've been following me on my Facebook page, I have been pay posting this a little bit on Instagram. There is still a lot of energies that are changing. There's a lot of ascension energy. We're feeling like we're, be you know, we're that we're that lump of coal that's becoming that diamond. We're that piece of sand that's becoming that pearl. There is also a lot of Pluto and Pluto in Capricorn. Big things. Um, anticipate big things around the 20th of February. Uh, now that will be when. Aquarius changes into Pisces season. What is that? The 18th. But there's a lot of things going on with Pluto and Capricorn and, you know, just just a lot of energies, a lot of energy. So let's see where we're going with our Archangel. And this is more of a universal. This is more of an over, you know, just an overcast type of uh, reading for what's going on in the world. So here we go. Remember, anything that is reversed has a little stronger energy, according to how I read the cards. And let's see what we've got here. Okay, nothing is reversed here. First card is the three of Michael. Okay, now, the threes. Numbers are important, okay? There can be, you can put um, negative energies towards numbers. You can put positive energy towards numbers. We work towards putting the positive energies towards the numbers. We want to, you know, make, you know, we want to use the numbers as higher power wants them to be used. Now, threes, a lot of power in threes. Say something, do something, you know, three times. Lots of manifestation energy with that. A lot of creation energy. There's also a lot of celebratory energy. The three of Michael. Michael is swords. Swords is air energy. That's that heart with those three swords in it. And people usually say, oh, can we can we do over? Let's do over. That one, we don't like that one because it doesn't necessarily feel right. But the thing about it is this is healing of old wounds but in order for us you know the, the scars will always be there the scars are there but 
in order for us to move on, we have to move past the scars. We have to live with some of the pain, but again, they, we have to also release the hold that the pain has on us. So the Three of Michael for this weekend, this weekend is saying, let go of a lot of the pain, but at the same time, work towards healing. So there's a lot of, he there's some healing happening. Eh, thing about healing, eh, you know, if you think about it, anybody that's gone through physical therapy knows that healing does hurt. But we have to work through that pain. We have to work through that healing, and then we have to let that healing. We let the, we have to let the the experience, the hold of the experience that it has on us go. Okay, doesn't mean we forget it. Doesn't mean we go back into the situation. But we let that move on. Okay, release the past. You will grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds. So next card is the star. So now we have a 317, one seven, okay, 10 plus 7, 10 transition, one new beginning. 7 is divine God energy, well, is divine energy. It's divine interference, divine intervention. The star, this is Archangel Jophiel. It is major arcana energy. It is a time for us to make hopeful wishes. This is a time for us to have dreams. In order for us to move forward, in order for us to have those dreams, in order for us to have you know, things happening into that positive. We have to put out the positive energy. You know, I'm always talking about that. Our thoughts, our words ha need to be positive so that what we put out comes back to us. But again, it goes to releasing releasing that negative and, and, and hoping and wishing and saying things are going to turn out better. Things are moving into a more positive um, place for us. Now, you know, a lot of the, um, a lot of the, um, energies that are switching they are not necessarily like i said it's not necessarily going to go away but we are going to have a better handle on these okay and we still have we still have some rough patches to go through but we are starting to see we are starting to see maybe a little glimmer a little glimmer uh, of light at the end of that tunnel and that's what we have to focus on okay a dream come true Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. Oh, I like that one a lot. Okay, especially when it says release the past, the end of a difficult situation. Next card is the Four of Raphael. Four, stability, basically leadership, also organization. Raphael is our water or cup energy. It is fluid emotional. Just as the three, just as Michael is Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, um, Raphael is Pisces, you know, things are on Pisces right now. Jupiter is in Pisces right now. Pisces, it's also um, Cancer, it's also Scorpio, fluid, emotional. The four of Raphael is this in-between stage. It's, it's so that we're in a holding pattern right now. So there are things happening. There are things happening, but right now we're in a holding pattern. Right now it's just kind of like a wait and see type of energy. Just wait and see. We're in a holding pattern. Things are going to get better, and we are going into a brighter future, but we're in a holding pattern right now. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotion. So... So we have a 3174, and sometimes it's a 4713. And what you can do with that is you can put, you know, you can put those into your search browser. You can, what is it, Gematria? Um, you know, there's different ways to look these numbers up. Um, you know, sometimes what I like is the put them in and then put angel numbers, angel messages, and see what messages might be given. Okay? So let's, and there's other, there's other ways to look these numbers up. Have fun doing that. Okay, let's see what we have here with our guardian angels. Again, Radley Valentine. Here we go. Nothing has been reversed. The two of thought. Now, thought is Michael. Thought is our sword energy. Um, you know, again, Aquarius, Libra, and it is also Gemini energy. There's a lot of Aquarius. We are in Aquarius season right now. Twos are coming together. Twos are joining together. Twos are also directions. We have a lot of twos right now. In fact, we are in another one of those portals where it is, you know, like February 2nd through February 22nd. Um, you know, so there's all these two, this two energies, again, choices, decisions, crossroads, 
coming together you know so you know there's a lot of two energy going on and then here we have again the two energies now the two of thought two of air two of swords is your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward you have multiple options that you're reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose right because we're in a holding pattern right now we're in a holding pattern we want to see what's you know we would like to see a little clearer energies yes we have the star yes we have the believe in ourselves we believe that things can be better but right now the energies are putting us in this holding pattern so you have multiple options that you're reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose now this is the thing ask your angels remember Ask higher power, whoever that is for you, your angels, archangels, you know, Jophiel, Michael, all of the angels are there to help us. So ask, ask, put it out there. Um, ask your angels for signs as to what direction to take or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. Yeah, but we're in a holding pattern now. We know and we know that these things we have, there's things that we have to let go, things we have to heal from. Things are going to be changing things are happening in a better in a better manner but we're in a freaking holding pattern oops excuse me <laughs> anyway but the thing is the two of thought we are not moving forward we do need to ask our angels we do need to ask our you know whoever our higher power is to help us to at least see what where we're going see what we need to do or at least help us as we stay in our holding pattern now i have talked about um raphael and cups sword and michael air energy we do also have our um we have our fire energy which is would be our wands or our rods in the traditional tarot and that would be our leo sagittarius and aries passionate burning and determined and then we have our pentacles or our earth energy which is our capricorn still a lot of things going on with capricorn we have what venus in capricorn we have pluto in capricorn that's going to be a really interesting energy with that pluto is the god of destruction and transformation rebirth and you know things can be you know things can be torn down in order for them to be built back um and then there's something else oh right now mercury is in capricorn for another week or two okay another two weeks i think and then it goes back into aquarius so there's a lot of that earth energy again capricorn taurus and virgo money job career something to do with your home okay so when i i will try not to go through that when i'm doing your individual signs um uh, you know so we'll, we'll just say that i've talked about anything being reversed also to take a moment to like share subscribe click on the bell for notifications because you do help keep my channel moving we're so close to twenty five thousand subscribers so i would really appreciate that i really do appreciate you all and if you're having trouble i notice some up some people tell me they're having trouble hearing the videos i do sound check the videos before i put them on i do know that sometimes youtube uh, i've had people tell me that on certain you know iphones or on their ipads it seems to be apple products that they have problems hearing um i've had that come back i'm sorry i i am uh you know, I do sound check everything before it goes back, before I put them on, you know, the videos. So anyway, we're in a holding pattern, but there is, we, you know, there is a lot of things that we can still do. Let go, let go, um, you know, release that past, release what's holding on to us and keeping us from moving forward. Believe, hope, you know, and ask our angels to, to help us move forward. Okay? Okay. Now. Let's go on. And again, I will put the timestamp. I'd like it if you watch the introduction at least once, but I will put the timestamps on. So let's start our readings now. Hello to my Libras. How are things ha happening for you? Uh, how are things? Okay. Are they coming into a little bit of a balance? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's been, you, you have had a rocky road, a rocky you know, your scales keep going up and down. Sometimes they get into balance. But let's see how for this weekend is. We have all that lovely, lovely two energy for you. So I hope that that helps you. I hope that helps to keep you balanced. Here we are. Let's see. One, two, and three. Three cards. And this one is reversed. Here we go. First card is the Ten of Earth. Well, this is a lovely card for you. So tens, transition, one has a new beginning, zero is God's source energy, earth is our 
Capricorn, a lot of Capricorn. It's Taurus and Virgo. It's, you know, home, your job, things like that. Ten of Earth has a very loving energy around it. It is all is well in the home life. All is well in the work life. Things are good. Things are happy. Things are, you know, these are the times that we really need to just kind of say, Thank you to higher power and just enjoy the moment for what the moment is, okay? This has a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. Now, I'm not going to say that everyone around you is feeling this way, but I'm feeling like you are feeling this way, that you're kind of like I'm in an okay place for today or for this weekend, and you know what? That is okay with me. So enjoy your weekend, enjoy your family, enjoy the people around you. Um, like I said, I'm not quite sure that all of them are going to be as, um, as zen as you, but um, that's okay. Here we go. Next card, the king of earth. Okay, so this could actually mean, part of this could be that you are actually coming into a new profession, or you are getting more money, or you are some, and that's actually what's making things feel a little more secure for you in your home life. So the king of earth, king has underlying energy of swords, air energy, earth is again our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This is the professional, this is, so this could be a doctor, this could be a lawyer, this could be hearing about an inheritance, this could be hearing about maybe you're paying off your mortgage, maybe you're getting money to coming in, it could be somebody that's offering you a new job, offering you a new way to make money, helping helping you to you know, make um, make a new business. So the king of earth is somebody not just very wise and very, you know, very um, knowledgeable, but very polished in the world. The, the king of earth knows what he's doing. The king of earth knows how to make money. The king of earth knows is the subject matter expert. He knows his stuff. He is a professional. So you could be having, that could be why this is such a happy card for you. Maybe there's excitement because you've learned, you found a new way to make money, found a new business. Maybe you've been offered a new job. So it just has a very good sense of security. This has a very good sense of, okay, I know that my roof, I have a roof over my head and I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I've got a few, a few, a few, um, you know, a few coins in my pocket. Okay. Okay. So. The king of earth is generous, professional, responsible, practical. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch. So if you are offered a job, it is a good time for you to accept the job. Okay? Your last card reversed. The seven of fire. Fire is, again, our Leo Sagittarius Aries. Passionate burning. Seven, divine umbrella, divine gifting, divine interference, divine intervention. And this is basically, you know, so while all this is going on, there may be some, you know, kind of like, it reminds me kind of like a, um, somebody that is the caretaker of the home, all of a sudden gets offered a job and wants to go and take care of the job, you know, wants this job. It's very, you know, very cool, very um, exciting. And then everybody wants to say, no, 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 you've got to take care of the home. You've got to take care of the home. And yet your ambition is, no, I really want to do this. So the seven of fire says, be true to yourself. Be, you know, believe in yourself. You know, go after what it is you want for yourself. Okay, because, there, you know, this is an exciting time. This is an exciting time for your money, for your profession. This could be, you know, maybe you're going back to school, maybe, the, and you're going back to school, and that will bring you that, you know, that next step. But, again, be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. Here we go. So, yeah, this is, you know, a lot of times the ten of earth is also count your blessings, uh, but that king of earth is definitely a um, somebody that's to help you with your profession. It could be you. I mean, it could be you. But it's somebody that's going to promote you. It's going to be somebody that's going to hire you, somebody that's going to mentor you. And, uh, again, the seven of fire, like I said, be true to you because I feel like, again, if you are somebody that takes care of other people, they may not want you to take care, you know, to go after this opportunity. They may not want that. Uh, you know, the seven of fire is saying, be true to you. Be true to you. Here we go. Let's see what John Holland has for my Libras. Harmony. 
So now we have a 6. So we have a 1, 1, 0, 7, 6, 6, 7, 0, 1, 6, number of man, um, the energies you put into something, harmony, this is the lovers, this is coming together, this is trying to create that balance for you. Um, I do feel like part of your ba uh, balance has been that you your imbalance has been that you've been taking care of too many people outside uh, and not necessarily taking care of you. Again, that... Um, that seven of fire comes back to be true to you, be true to yourself, okay? So, but it does look like you do. So it looks like you take the job. It looks like you take the opportunity. It looks like you uh, you allow yourself to be mentored, promoted, groomed. Good. I like that for you. I like that for you. It looks like you're taking care of you for now. Okay. Let's go on and see now what crystal or energy for my Libras would be helpful. Here we go. Moldavite. Well, that's an expensive little one. So I'm like, oh, I love Moldavite, though. It's all about healing, protection, telepathy, connection. Okay, so if you've got that, carry it with you, especially if you're going on some job interviews. Um, like I said, I feel like there's uh, somebody that wants to that sees a lot of your talents and wants to develop them, mentor them. That king of earth really wants to bring you to another level in your career, in your, in your way, however you make your money. Okay? Be true to you. Okay, so my Libras, take a moment, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, all that good stuff. As always, my Libras, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.